Hello again, loves. Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to day 23 of November here in the United States. It happens to be Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to all of my American peeps. Uh, I am celebrating Thanksgiving today, eating the turkey with my fam. But I'm filming this like two weeks in advance. So now I'm just really wishing I had Thanksgiving dinner. Just saying. So my prompt for today is watercolors. I've got a piece of close to my heart white daisy cardstock. I have got the Coco Vanilla Studios Storyteller Collection. And the three, I'm going to do three photos, two photos <laughs> of me and the hubs here um, in Elvis's garden from those down and I have three shimmers paints. Um, I have creamies in grapefruit, shimmers and anchors away and creamies in dandelion. I also have a nouveau spatula. We are going to make some fun. So Alright, so let's see, I don't remember which ones. We need the water. Really, that one needed the water. Let's see what the creaminess has got going on. Amy's needed the water too. I should have done this before I got on here with you guys. And so the dandelion will as well. All right. This thing is the coolest little tool in the world. Got dirty water in it right now. All right. Get this mixed up. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna try what what in my head this is gonna work, but I don't really know if it's gonna work. We're gonna mix up all of this shimmery goodness. These little pods are like gold. So I'm just going to do some swoopy, swoopy, swoopy marks. I want it to look it. Like it was put on with the palette knife. I want to be able to see what we got going on here. I'm going to make three different little, three little quadrants. Because I didn't just with the paper or anything, we're going to get some very fun. It's going to sink right in almost immediately. And just keep layering it up. Each layer is going to show. So I like that little white line. I'm just 
Win. All right, so, and I'm gonna put the next one and then the next one and we'll let that dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and design. It's gonna be dry fairly quickly because it's just soaking right into the paper. It's kind of messy with what I was getting going on there. So, but anyway, you just put this in here and it's got little ridges and stuff at the bottom to clean those brushes. And then you just set them in here and then they dry right away. Quite an exciting little tool there. All right, so that one was anchors away. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other ones and I'll be right back. All right, I hope you can see how shimmery that is. So the creamies is a little less on the shimmery, but still really a gorge. So I've got these two right here. I'm going to kind of get them situated right about there. And then I want to come in with the Love This Story. That's our title. Um, I think outside of that, this little piece right here, that's done. Look at that. Look at us making progress and killing items off. Very, very good feeling. All right. And I do want to try to use up some of these cards. I'm going to layer it up behind the little photos we got going on. It has actually, you know, warped. <laughs> it is what it is. Like that one. Kind of interesting. A little tone on tone. And a new yellow over here. Oh. Probably already you oh nope, there it is. And then the stories we tell become our history. I also forgot that, you know. All right, let's get this layered up. And just uh, get it tucked in right down here. And for this one, that on there. And stick that right up there. And we're going to get the title on in the middle. I don't know, my backing never stays on when it comes to the um, Pokemon. <laughs> like it just peels right off. So I take more than one layer off each time. And I'm not really trying to, see? I'm just trying to get that, but it just seems to happen the other way. So 
like that. I like that my son is super loud. Ah, oh, that child. Love this jewelry. Get this on here. Yeah, a little bit of glue behind these guys just because of the mixed media. All right, so I'm gonna go through and pull out some other items, see what I can use. And I am adore. I love this collection. I love Pokemon Owl Studio. So there's that in my life. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this packaging over here with my other packaging. Use that for mixed media at a later date. And I'm gonna go through these collection stuff ephemera and see what uh, I want to use on this and I will be right back all right we've got that all glued down I'm gonna do some sketchy lines and we're gonna do some tone on tone so I've pulled everything out over here that I from the die cut pack and the floral pack What I might want to use all this to try to use all of it because I didn't pull very much. I only tried to pull what I think I might use. So I got this seriously the best. I thought I would put the yellow butterfly on there. Pop this one up on some foam. We got this guy. And then again, popping it up on some foam. So this one I used to cover up the um, Oh, and then the floral cluster that doesn't quite match. We've got two butterflies here. I'm going to get these both on there as well. down here. But first let me take a selfie. I thought that was cute. I did fussy cut that out of one of the cards. The yellow card to be exact. Okay. I'm not going to use the R story. Let's see if we can get some of these florals in here. I'm going to pinch the flowers to make them look somewhat realistic.
won't actually use them all, but we're just going to use some of them. And then I got to pick out some Nubo and do the butterfly tails. That down. I'm going to go ahead and put one of that last butterfly on there just for the simple fact that then we'll have odd. number on the butterflies. This is, I left that open for too long. It's the only thing bad about the fine liner bottles. And let's get yellow flowers on here. And she needs as well. All I'm doing is I just roll them. Just crease and roll. There. And down there. And then we'll get this one as well. Old, and then I do want to get some of the pink florals, probably just the one. Let's get that right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go pick out some Nubo drops and do the little butterfly trails. Um, and happiness and... Seriously, the best. I want to get some of these on. I think we could. You know what? No. <laughs> I have a lot going on already, so. All right, I'm going to pick up my new get that done, and we'll be right back. My tip for the day, always make sure when you're playing with Nuvos to squeeze it out, not over your layout. Um, I used a rose gold, and it was clogged, and I squeezed it right over here, <laughs> and it blew the whole bottle out. Um, I cleaned it up and I got it all back in the bottle, but that had been over my layout. My layout really would have been ruined because it was the entire bottle that just went poof. And it was a huge glob in this general vicinity down here. So I've got all of my tail materials on there. Everything is dry and I am done with this layout and mess. <laughs> I need to go wash my hands. <laughs> Lots of bad things happening here. Um... So with that being said, don't forget to do all the fun YouTube-y things like subscribe, join the membership, check out the Facebook group, head to my affiliates. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Leave some comments down below. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.